Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Judy from Treasure Chunk. And today's video, I will be closing the month of June, starting July. And also I will be sharing the five tips or strategies that I am using to increase 36 points in my credit score. No further ado, let's get into it. So you can see, I recorded this on my previous uh, video, 698 and my percentage of credit card usage is 51 okay this is my june so i can't wait for july so what i do is i close my budget okay i get all of these numbers from my expense tracker i track everything of my expense here and i color coded it these colors are double checking my numbers and then what i do is i tally them all up all the categories and this is the numbers that i have my income is separated i, I like to put them in here and i most of you know that i have a monthly bi-weekly other income savings and rollover these are the five categories that can come into in place and this month for the month of June, which is the first time ever, because I am using savings, it came out to $7,389.69. And total debt, the debt is always on the top. I have $5,428.80. What I normally do, I take this amount, divided by this amount, and I got 73%. So 73% of this amount went to debt, which I am extremely happy as anything over 65 percent i'm doing great and i really want to focus here so what i do is i tally the income right here it's the same amount seven thousand seven three hundred eighty nine with 69 cents i take this amount and you can see the strip here and what i did is i subtract all the expenses the actual and i came out to have 127 so when i have 127 i go back to my expense tracker and in my expense tracker you see i have 127 this is correct and that's how i i know that everything is applied to each category correctly and i complete i tally these in i put the little markers where i am with my debt and my savings my retirement and cd they're all in the bottom because I'm still starting. I'm still halfway. This is my sixth month in, in my debt-free journey. It takes time, but it is curving. It is curving. Um, savings is a star. <laughs> it's it's in a, I, I really think that by next year, I will be better. Okay? Because I am my main focus is my debt, not my save. And I'm a type of person, if I have debt, it's hard to save. Because that money that I'm saving, I could pay my debt. And then retirement, I did start in April. April was the first time that I started contributing to my Roth IRA. And slowly, it's still the same. You see, the next up is five thousand dollars i haven't got to that point the information from my say, um, expense tracker and i plug them in here and these are the numbers as you can see i am controlling my spending in certain categories which is a good thing the next thing i like to do when i'm closing the budget is go over the no spend and the um the monthly budget category breakdown so let's just focus on this one so the month of no spend, I am happy, but not too happy, but I'm actually, I'm happy with the numbers. I do have no spending for 10 days, which I did. However, I have no more than 11 days of eating out. I have more. I'm okay because I did have more money and tends to encourage me to eat out more because I have the money, but that's to say that I'm okay with the numbers. Because again, I put 73% of debt to the credit card, which I'm okay. I'm happy with that. As you can see, I just tally the numbers in. I started balance, earned income, other income, saving use, and the ta and then total monthly inflow, 7,389.89. I tally all this, added the, the final balance from my checking. So I have a total of 7,000. 186 193 it does not match 
Uh, it does not match. I'm not gonna pull my hair. Going over my debt. Okay, here we go. Because I really wanna focus on my debt right now. I said that in my previous video. I will continue to pick it up on the month of August once daycare is done. And daycare is done in July. After July, then I'll pick up the numbers here. So this is my debt overall for the month of June, which is going over for July. Discover Bank of America, City Insurance, Chase, Tax, and Wells Fargo. The daycare for the month of July. July is five weeks, so it's a little bit more. I have a cart maintenance of 273. Gabby's birthday, um, it's on the 1st, which we did went out, so it's $66. Let me write that down. And the trip, we estimated it to be $569. Okay, so this is coming ahead. I like to write it down because I already know the amount. So my total consumer is $44,749. Now, because I am tight, I am tight for my minimal, I talked to my husband and I am not giving him the $200, which I normally give him every month for my phone and mortgage. He's okay with that for now. It's just for this month or the month of July because I did pay him the month of June. It's for the month of July. I'm not going to pay him. And then I have retirement and then the subs. So this month I was just struggling, struggling with my debt like where i'm gonna get the money where i'm so tight because daycare is a um it's a big expense which i knew it was coming but i didn't know so so far remy and rose is paid for okay oops and then vacation is done i paid it in full I did some research and really thought about how is that I'm taking too long to increase my credit score, even though I'm paying the minimum or I'm paying, I'm doing the sm snowball method, but I felt that <laughs> like anyone else, this is like these numbers that are going up. Now, just keep in mind, this credit score, is it really important to me at this moment? No, but I really want to increase that score. And, and what I did, is I went further in and focused on my debt, okay? And this is the five top five tips to increase 31 points. So what I did was in credit card usage. Number five is keep your accounts open. It's important to keep your credit, your credit card open until you bring your debt down. Now, for instance, my debt, like 44,000. So if I have $50,000 of credit card limit, um, limit on various credit card and I eliminate one of them, then I am down to $45,000 and I am maxed. You see, that's why my score is not going up. And I hope I'm explaining this correctly. So it's important not to close a credit card. This, the fourth tip is I will pay entirely balance one of these two, which is Target or Wells Fargo. Target for me, it's my groceries. That is always going to be revolving versus Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo, it's a personal loan. And what's affecting my credit score is when you have a loan debt, like your car is a loan, it's not a revolving uh, credit card. It's for the life of that loan. What that means is Wells Fargo, even though I have zero interest rate, I still am a hundred percent limit. For example, let's say Wells Fargo, I owe $2,000 and I pay a hundred and then it goes down. 1,900. The 1,900 is the limit. 1,900. So it's a hundred percent capacity. The next thing I'm going to do is to bring Chase, which is my car, to 1,062. I'm going to try going to bring that down. Right now it's close to 3,000. So it's a little bit more. Once again, Chase is one of the pay loans. And then bring uh, number two, bring one of these 50% below. Right now, Discover is in this, is a high impact. It's 92%.
credit card usage. What that means, I'm almost maxed out. 100% is maxed out. Bank of America is 80%. City is 80, 83% and insurance is 84. So number two is to bring one of these, Bank of America, City, and insurance below 50. And tip number one will be Discover. Discover right now is a high impact. So the goal is to bring it down to 90%. So no further ado, let me show you July's sticker. So this is July's calendar. Um, Gabby's birthday is in the 1st, Jose is on the 12th, and Millie is on the 21st, which is the week that I will be on vacation with my family, which I'm so excited. Um, I'm just going to go through um, the pictures. Oh, this is pretty i like that one okay so from here we're gonna go back to the month of july i am going to check the credit score and the credit credit card usage so my credit score went up to 711 i'm gonna show you a pin screen of my credit score and my credit usage which went down to 47 percent i'm super excited <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> It makes me happy because I can see, even though I'm still drowning in debt, <laughs> this is, I know, it's like the way in the scale. Hold on. Guys, I'm so <laughs> excited. Sorry about the interruption. My son just walked in. That is 13 points. It went up 13 points. I'm so excited. I'm going to continue with those strategy and I am going to start my budget. I'm gonna start budgeting. So what I normally do is I bring this to here. I'll be right back. So I completed my budget for July 2024. So these are the numbers that I have planned. I already started my expense tracker. So I stop on the 5th, which is the day of of this video. The routine is as soon as I get paid the income, the first thing I start paying is the debt. If you have um, questions regarding this video about the five tips of how to increase the credit score, please put it in the description box below. I'm more than happy to respond or I can address it on my next video, okay? Guys, take care, be good, be kind, be safe, bye.